Hey, I'm really glowing. I don't know what's happening. There's so much light. I wonder what happens if I turn this light up. It's a little bit better. Maybe I'll try turning the light on behind me. Hold on. Okay, good. Now I'm not as like, my face is glowing. Hey, everybody. Welcome. Uh, doing something a little bit different today. I'm really excited about it. I know I'm always, you know, sharing kind of thoughts and ideas and stuff that for some of us might feel a little bit uh, hard to make tangible. You know, this idea of like big ideas and taking action and fear and thinking and all that stuff, it can be pretty big. So I wanted to hop on to uh, follow up on a whiteboard session that I had yesterday. So I've been hinting at these whiteboard sessions. It's a new offer that I've put together and it's essentially a very condensed focused week of coaching support that is grounded in an initial two hour deep dive coaching conversation. Um, and then followed up by a week of coaching support as you kind of synthesize and put into action all of the cool stuff that comes up during our, our initial whiteboard session. Um, it's, it's, it's a really great alternative if you would like coaching support and, and help kind of finding clarity around all the things that you're thinking about, the things you want to get done, maybe steps you want to take. You've got a lot of thought happening, but you want to just have a clear space to get it in front of you. Um, it's, it's a really awesome option for that if you're not yet feeling like you want the longer term coaching support, which up until now is, has really only has really been kind of the only way to work together. So I'm incredibly excited about it. Um, I'm only offering the sessions privately through invitation only right now. So if you're interested in knowing more, that doesn't mean that you're going to sign up for one. It just means that you want to know more. Please feel free to send me a message or leave a comment during the video and I will reach out to you and we can see if it might be a fit. But what I wanted to do today was kind of make that whole idea real by sharing with you um, uh, just some highlights of a whiteboard session that I had yesterday so you can really see what it is that happens. Now I want to put out there that I am sharing this with permission. Uh, it is not, this is why it's a little bit different for me because all of my work is confidential. Um, but I did get permission from my client to share some of these ideas and I'm not going to go into specifics, but I do just want to give you a sense of like what could be created uh, when we, when you really give yourself the time to kind of slow down and take a look at things with my help. So just to give you some context, she came into the conversation uh, because one thing I ask when someone wants to have a whiteboard session, the question that I like to ask is what would make, you know, what do you, um, what do you want to get out of it? What would make it worth your time, your investment, your energy? And she, I'll call her T, uh, T came into the, the whiteboard session really wanting to figure out, get a clear sense of what is important to her. and more specifically what she wants to create in the world and how that could show up in uh, perhaps her business and and some just maybe making a shift professionally down the line. So uh, I'm going to pull out her whiteboard so you can kind of see what, what we made as what, what came out of it as a result. And I just want to preface this with, hi, Karen, um, that every whiteboard is different and every whiteboard is incredibly personal and specific to the person who created it. So just keep that in mind that you might see it and be like, what is all that stuff? But for T, um, when she reflects on it, there is very much a sense of clarity and connection with what, what the result was. So let me get that for you. Let me shift around. Okay. So let me just kind of give you a general sense of the kinds of things that we talked about. And let's see. Sorry about the glare. That's the one little like logistical piece that I need to figure out. I need to put up like a white sheet in front of my mirror. But essentially the way that this whiteboard broke down is that we spent the first part of our conversation really, um, I really wanted to give T the space to talk about what it is that she wants to be making happen. Coaching is very much a present and future centered kind of partnership. And I, I am here to help you get what you really, really want. So the first thing that I like to help people find out is like, well, what is it that you really want? 
and it's different for everybody. So this whole side of the whiteboard um, is where we just started to download that. And it was really interesting, and I don't know if it's the case for you, but one of the interesting things I noticed as we were speaking is that is that she very quickly wanted, you know, very naturally wanted to drift back into how things are now, kind of how things have been. And part of my role for her was to just gently kind of stop that energy of, of where it is now and let her have the space to explore what it is that she wants. So the whole this whole side of the board is just a summary of all the different ideas that came out of that. Some of them were more um, internal, kind of the, these ideas that she wants to share with the world. Some were more logistical in terms of how she might share them, what it could look like. Uh, some were more personal goals, some were professional. Again, it's different for everybody, but that's, that's really what what how this side of the board kind of became populated after we'd really unpacked kind of what all those things are and what was interesting is as i was writing things down what i tend to see happening is people then start to come up with other ideas and that's one of the cool parts of this experience is that as you see your ideas in front of you it allows you to to kind of spot new ones and 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 oh actually it could be more like this and and what about that? And that's, I love that energy and that's part of what the whiteboard session is about. The middle part of the session was around what, um, was then kind of diving into what she thought might be getting in her way. And what was super interesting again about this and just giving it space was that it all came down, came down to thought. That there were thoughts that were getting in her way. And, and when we're able to kind of see that in front of us, it, it's so, it just shifts our awareness of it. It doesn't change it, but it allows us to handle it in a different way. At the top of the board, I like to, when someone is talking and they let out kind of this little nugget of their own wisdom, because again, the whiteboard session isn't about what I'm saying, it's about what you're saying. And I'm here listening and kind of filtering and like seeing through like, what to you might feel really foggy and un unorganized to disorganized to me i kind of am it's almost like i'm a i've called myself sometimes a, le a spelunker you know who goes into a cave and kind of is like let's see what's in here and let me turn on my flashlight that's really what the whiteboard session is about is i come in with my flashlight and i shine the light on things and we start to things that were in the dark start to take on shapes and when i see something or hear something that i'm like oh my god that's so good i tend to write that on the top you know so one of the things she said was like there's a lot of wisdom waiting to spill out oh god when she said that i was like yes let's put that on the top i didn't say it she said it but i wanted to write it down so she really has it in front of her and can be rem can remind herself of that finally kind of after really unloading and taking a big picture view on this, I want you to know that I'm a big fan of then turning stuff into action, right? Like having this conversation is great, but I'm always a big fan of like, listen, you've got me for a week. I'm on your team for a whole week. What do you want to do with it? What experiments could you run? And that's really what started to show up down on this part of the whiteboard was you can see could, I'm a big fan of could list, but I'm like, what are the things you could do? What, what are some things you could try this week? And that's where it started to get edgy. And that's, I suspect some of you are in that space too, where you have these ideas and they're, they're possibilities, but when it comes to taking action on them, that's where it starts to be like, oh, and that came up and it was great. Cause I was like, this is where, this is where, where growth happens and change happens is when we're willing to take stuff that's conceptual and actually do something about it. So we brainstormed together um, what, what are the coulds? What are the things that she could try from this kind of section here and with awareness of what might be in her way and now how to navigate through that, what are some things she could do? And she's walked away now with a solid, micro action plan um, that she is she's now committing to implement over this coming week and I'm here to help her we're connected through email we're connected through Voxer which is an app that I use um, that's kind of like a, a walkie-talkie so you can talk through it you can type through it you can send gifts through it I know Karen if you're still watching like we were just talking about this um, but I'm in her boat for the week and it'll be really cool to see now what she creates as a result of 
of yesterday's conversation and now her commitment to kind of stay in that pocket and and really explore what could come what what comes out of it so i'll be very excited what i will likely do is you know I'll, i'd like to come back maybe in a week and kind of give you an update on t and and what she has created as a result of of what we started yesterday and our continued conversation over the course of this week and i'll probably be back um on thursday because there's another whiteboard session coming up tomorrow and i'm excited to kind of keep you in the loop as to how all of this this stuff that I tend to talk about is becoming tangible within these conversations and within these partnerships. And, um, and again, if you're, if, if what I'm talking about, if the kinds of things that are coming out of this conversation feel like you want some of that too, and you're interested to know if this could possibly be a fit, please leave a comment in the comments below, uh, or send me a private message or send me an email or just be like, Hey, can I know a little bit more? And we'll we'll see if it's a possible fit and if it could be something that could be of help to you. So, uh, thanks for being here, and thanks for following along. And again, I'll follow up on any comments or questions if you want to leave them throughout the day. And uh, yeah, you're all great. Talk to you guys soon.